This is another video for Linux Native Reaper that will focus on some of the plugins in Reaper that you can use for voice processing. I already have a few set up here, just as an example, and these are already in Reaper when you download it. As you can see, I don't have the gate activated yet, and there's some background noise, even when I'm not talking. So let's activate the gate. And that took it all out, of course. And these settings are adjustable. You can set them in according to your own room and the acoustics in your room and how much noise your microphone has. And you can set this however you like. And this is just a starting point. So, so I'll go ahead and do this. Now I'm going to uh, set up the other ones with another uh, voice recording from Bobby Osinski. Then I'll go through and click, unclick these, and you can hear what it sounds like without them. Then you can do this on your own system, too, as you uh, try to experiment with some of these plugins. Uh, approved for, um, what is it, Mastered for? Uh, Mastering for, for iTunes. Somebody yeah. I knew helped me out with that. <laughs> <laughs> Master for iTunes uh, program. We just start, We actually sent our first master off this week. so Which is not easy because that's um, Apple keeps it tight to the vest, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Got to thank that person, so we'll see what happens. But, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, we've been doing some. Wait, I, yeah, that's another thing I forgot about. You know, I got to have my list here for stuff we do here. Yeah. But yeah, we but, but mainly it's diversified, not just strictly music recording, all different types of recording. Like I said, it's been it's been, it's been uh, five days of just three actors in the room, different studios here in A, using three channels on the Neve, doing Mystery yeah. Science Theater the entire season here. So well, let's talk about that because when you first started here, you were mostly in the box. For the most part, right? You try to stay within the box most of the time. Oh, for mix down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now that you have the Neve, does that change your approach? Well, actually, I got about after the first year I was here. Interesting, I'll give you. A, I did this. Uh, there's a blues guy I did this album for named Mo Rogers. Remember mm -hmm. him? He's a really good blues guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, his first, last, his album, the, I did his last album for, I mean, the last album for him at my studio in North Hollywood, which was. Yeah, that's just a basic intro there. I thought I would explain this one. This is a multi-band compressor, and it sort of sets flat all this, all the major, e you know, the spectrums. We double every frequency for ten times, starting at twenty-five, and helps to control the amount going into the next one, which is an EQ. And again, this is just something I tried here. You uh, use your own voice and see what you can come up with. Saturation here is just a little extra uh, frequencies in your voice that are not normally there and I'll take it out and you might be able to tell the difference and then I'll bring it back in. So it just adds a little bit of extra eh, tonality to your voice and you can adjust this from low to high. The deesser, as you can see, this purple is coming through here. That's very effective, especially if you have uh, your podcast playing at a loud volume with your followers. That'll be helpful so that ear piercing sub sibilance won't blast their eardrums. And these are just some meters that you can utilize. These are floating. We just have an oscilloscope. And, of course, this spectrum analyzer, which I find very effective and very useful. This is just a general idea of where you're floating in your voice as far as how much output volume you're using. Anyway, that's just a basic intro to using some of these Regate, Re-X-Comp, Re-EQ, and then other saturation, de -esser, and some audio analysis plugins that already are inside Reaper on your Linux native Reaper installation. Thank you for watching.